previously on. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Definitely. We'll be fine. Ew, that's fucking nasty. I'm jumping. I'm yeah. sorry. That's fucking gross. I'm leaving. I ain't messing with no cockroaches. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Who knew helping people would cost you your life? Because look at this. This is a rad scorpion. That's right. A full blown scorpion that's basically the size of a horse. I was walking towards one of the settlements, and lo and behold, this fucker was right behind us, chilling there. Like, chilling there. Watching us. With its big little eyes. Look at that. Look at that. Do you know how many. how many. F ghouls? Ghouls I had to kill, along with two mole rats? That right there is a mole rat, by the way, that I just eliminated. Like. These people are living in a thousand ways to die. Like, at this point... At this point... This is just bullshit. And I'm five seconds away of just not wanting to help anymore. If it's gonna cost me my own ass at this point. But you know what? I'm doing Preston a favor. He did say the settlement needs help. So fuck it, why not? Is this a settlement for real? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything from Fred. Thank you, Piper. I appreciate you, you're a doll. Oh, there's people here. Okay, bet. Hey. I take it you haven't fixed the door hinge? I'll get to it when I get to it. The sooner the better. Right. Hey, what's what up? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Excuse me. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? Yeah, that's what I, I really said. I think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Okay, well... We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We are the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's mm. a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Really? So you're being bullied? Well, shit. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? Well, we'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. Damn, shade. It's not shade. gonna change overnight. Alright, well in that case, let me see. Let me look at my pit boy Kill the raiders in Corveca assembly plant. Where is that at? Oh, over here. Well, in that case, here we go. Okay, so we are here, and where else? Okay, so I'll just take that off. Perfect, so... You mean to tell me these bullies, who are all the way over here, are trying to gang up on these poor, hard-working farmers? Bullies! That's what they are. Bunch of bullies. And you know what I like to do to these bullies? Kill them. That's my life motto. If you deal with a bully, you kill them. Of course, don't- Don't follow my advice. I'm fucking crazy. Oh yeah, we are icing them. This is perfect. I mean, honestly, who brings a laser... A laser gun... To a gunfight? Me! Of course! Alright, Piper, let's go. Uh, 
I like how Piper suddenly appears out of thin air. That's funny to me. I mean, I gotta admit, even though this game did came out in 2015, I do still appreciate the little details of it as well. I mean, this game definitely aged beautifully over the years. So I'm curious to see if would Podesta make a Fallout 4 for PS5? I'm not sure. Riot. Come out, come out. Guess we show them. Piper, you're so impatient. You remind me of my. You remind me of someone at EdTV. <clears throat> but anyways. All right. So I know the alarms are activated. Question is, where's the rest of these little punks? Piper, Who's don't worry. There? If anything, worst case scenario, we can you can stay behind Who's me there? while I eliminate everyone. Damn, we oh, this is who she killed. Damn, Piper, you. I'm good. Piper wastes no time in eliminating these people. Oh shit. One down and a whole bunch to go. Are you serious? <laughs> I am so happy I have my modification because I know for a fact I would have been dead already. Not as dead as these people, but... Oh, cooked alive and there's radiation down there. No thank you. Excuse me? Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotcha. Dead. Piper, you okay? Woo! What the hell? Yeah, they definitely know we're here. They definitely know we're here, alright. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think... I think I definitely killed this one. Hmm, computer. Let me see. Let me see if this little computer has some information that I can just... Wait, what's this? Took down another caravan today. Hell yeah. That makes three in one month. <gasps> you grimy bastards. To top it off, Freddy came by with the good news that another caravan is headed our way. Says he spotted some guards, but it's mostly civilians. They even got an old broad dressed like a fortune teller. <gasps> and some joker in a cowboy hat. Oh my god, they're talking about Preston! And old lady Murphy. Gonna ask Jared for more men to take this caravan down. That fucking hat is mine. Hey, yo. Oh my god, this is crazy. So, if I didn't intervene, Preston and the others would have gotten killed. Piper, let's go. We gotta eliminate all these cockroaches. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You come on out! Trust me. Where are you? Ah, got you. Got one, got two, got three. Yeah, there you go. At this point... At this point, usually I would like to leave as quickly as possible once I get my objective done. But knowing that if I do that, and there's a possibility that they could come after Parson and the others, I'm not taking any chances. Especially since they've went through a whole bunch of stuff. No one's here. No one's here. It's that fucking monkey again. Next. Alright, there should be some more over there then. Because I really gotta make sure this place is wiped clean. Because I am not gonna have them go after my friends like that.
Ah, got you. Yo, he's chopped liver. I love this. See, this is why I appreciate you with Fallout 4. I literally see this man's eye on the floor. Like, look okay, at that. Look at that eye. My god, this is beautiful. Who's up there? Huh. Alright, let me just go through. That's the exit. Piper, let's go to the second floor, and then we can go to the exit at this point. Because I have a good feeling... I have a good feeling they're hiding somewhere. Let me see. <sighs> Playing this on the headset definitely gives me a good experience too because I hear every single sound there is besides the footsteps. Okay, let me see here. Ah, I knew it! Alright, Piper, this is about to be a shit show right here, so... Let me see something. Alright, Piper. You know what to do. You ready? One at a time. Got one. Got two. This button should have us reach the other side. Piper, don't die. And... Ooh, ooh, close far. Wow, he threw his grenade and it landed on him. That is why I call poetic justice right there. Who the hell is shooting? Ooh, comic book. Bingo. Keep me fed. Ah, you're adorable. Real bad move. Give up now. I'll make <laughs> All right, Piper. So let's get out of here. Our deed is done at this point. I have a good feeling no one's gonna come after us or that settlement. Wow! Really? No, you're not- no. I don't- There you go, Piper. I like that. You hit him, you kill him. That's- that's how it should be. Well, you're still here? Damn, you mad feisty. Alright, let's go. Yep, looks like the job- oh, shit. Looks like we're not done. All right, Piper, let's go. Says the one who's hiding, little bitch. Anyways. Are they up there? Piper, come over. No? All right, I'm leaving. It's time to go. I did my job of the day. I did my deed, so... Am I able to move back? Let me see. Good morning! Rise and shine! Rise and shine! Hey. Damn, I would take this long get up too if my bed was on the floor like this. You find those raiders? Hell yeah. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. Yes! If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. 
You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Yay! Oh, thank you. Well, it's time for me to leave, sir. Thank you. All right, Piper. Let's go home and tell Preston the good news. Hello, Preston! Oh, he's here. Okay, sweet. Hey, yo, he's at my house. What are you doing at my house? You ask me. Freedom's always worth fighting for. Okay, Captain America, come down. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. Bet. I guess Just... you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. Oh, okay. Well, I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No, but one of the settlement people was telling me something about it. No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other <gasps> and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. Hmm. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. Wow. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered. Holy shit, that is so messed up. But the fact that Preston still kept on, like... I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Wait a minute, what? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's yeah. not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds, okay. but that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. I've already followed you through hell and high water, and I'd like to think I have more sense than most. Bro, I just got here. I was just unfrozen like a TV dinner. And I only did one favor for you, Preston, like, and you're asking me to be the leader of the Minute Man? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been a mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Wow. Can you explain what the Minute Men are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Well... I mean... He is right. And... Obviously, I do like to help a lot of people. Fuck it. Okay. I'll do it. It's gonna be a lot of responsibility. Oh, I bet. But I know you'll make this place better. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. <laughs> general? <laughs> so, if I'm a general... Where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. What? But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. Okay. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. 
Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. Okay, Preston. Well, I mean, since there is a silver lining on that, I guess I'll definitely call myself General from now on. Uh -huh. Here's where they are. I hope you can help them. We've got to show people they can count on the Minutemen again. Wow. I'm a general now. Holy shit. I'm a general now. Holy shit. I'm a general. Alright, let me check out my flare guns because... Yeah. Let me put that as a favorite right here. Bada boom bada bang. Alright, so it seems like if I recruit enough people, we'll be able to get a big enough army. And with an army, that is something that can definitely help on the long way. <gasps> that can also possibly help me find my son as well? Let's see. Hey, what can I do? Hey, Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. A sweet wall? Yes, I do. Thank I you so much. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. That's all. All right. She is so funny. Anyways, if there's another settlement in trouble, then it's time for me to save Green Top Nursery. Where is that? A long way to go. Hmm. Hmm. I say I want to recover the 10 mm from Milton General Hospital. So where is that at? Down there. Uh, why not? Right? Or should I do this one? Eh, I'll do the settlement. Why not? Let's go. I'll recover from this later. Right now, there's another settlement that needs our help. Holy shit, a windmill! That's so cool. Alright, hopefully this settlement isn't too far because if it is, I'm just gonna cry at this point. Oh lord. Alright, perfect. Yep, I'm cutting through all possible shortcuts because that is what Skyrim has taught me. Don't go through the map, just literally go through the whole mountain. Thanks, Bethesda. What? Ah! Oh, God. Hey, yo, you don't need to scream that loud. Bars now. Yep, I'm gonna cook it tonight. Put some sasson on that bitch. Some rice, gandules, tostones. Shit. I gotta admit though, the details in terms of the sunlight and the shadows, it's pretty decent. Especially since it moves whenever time does change. And I'm gonna mind my business on that gun show over there because I'm- Oh my god. Okay, good. I thought I had to deal with that. A two-headed deer? Wow, that's insane. Okay. Anyways. Hey, yo, who's shooting us? Okay, whatever. You know, this whole helping people thing, it's not too much of a bad idea. Especially since I'm a general now. No, wait. Am I helping a bunch of robots? I guess I am. Huh. <laughs> Right, I guess? I guess not. 
because I see here that the map is telling me to go this way, so... Okay. Let me keep going here, because why would I follow the map exactly? So, supposedly, there's a rumor that while wandering through the woods, you end up walking into this alien crash site where not only do you see the alien, but you're able to take a weapon from said alien. Oh my god, Piper, do not scare me. I thought you were the chupacabra at that point. But yeah, so supposedly, holy shit. Is this where the crash shot of that atomic bomb happened? Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no! Oh hell no, I can't! No, 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 no. Woo! Woo! Hey, yo. You see Piper right here? She's wifing material. If you ever find someone who's willing to kill bugs for you, you marry them. That's my advice. Marry them. There's another one, is there? So I assume that's the house? Alright, let's go. I guess. Yeah, I really think this is the house. I see a person there. Alright, let's go. Green top right, nursery. Wow, a house with no walls. That's awkward. Hey, yo. Oh, no. Oh no, just two of them! What the fuck? What the fuck did you just- Oh, that's awkward. Ew, that's nasty. And where's Pi- Oh, Piper, come- Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.